So the last video we focused on creating workbooks and worksheets. Just as a reminder, you can always right click the tab here. You can move or copy. And if you want to create a copy right to the end, you can click on move to the end and then click on create a copy. All right, let's focus on a new MOS objective today. Let's focus on practicing objective 1.2, which is navigating through worksheets and workbooks. So the challenge here is we're going to work with this nice workbook and we're going to first of all move to the first cell that contains a comment. So here I am using my arrow keys. I'm just going to move the press the down arrow and I'm trying to find the first cell that has a comment. I notice that this cell has a little tiny red triangle on the top right corner of the cell. This is where a comment is hiding. If I hover over it with my mouse cursor, I can see there's a little comment here. So I'm going to click here and I successfully moved to the first cell that contains a comment. So the next challenge is to move to the cell range named Berry Bushes. So to move to the cell range named Berry Bushes, Berry underscore Bushes, I'm going to move my mouse here to the name box. Up here in the name box, this little box here, when I click here, I'm going to type in B-E-R-R-Y underscore bushes and then press enter, berry bushes. And by pressing enter, because I match the actual uh, named range here, berry underscore bushes, it automatically highlights that range. So I'm in the correct range right now. You can see this uh, is the name box. We highlighted some six cells in the past and, and this named range is called berry underscore bushes. So now we're here. We're in the cell range called berry underscore bushes. Now the challenge is to move to cell F13. So I'm going to click in this name box again. I'm going to type in column F, 1, 3, 13, row 13, enter. So you can see that we just fly right to F13. And now we're going to create a hyperlink from cell F13 from here to the cell range named the berry bushes. Is it possible to create a hyperlink to an actual named range? It sure is. You can create a hyperlink to some internet website as well as you can hyperlink to some named range within your own document. Let's right click F13. Let's go to hyperlink and then let's choose the place in this document for the link to this is the button I'm going to click on place in this document and let's look for this defined name called berry bushes this is already some named range that's defined so I'm going to click on here it turns blue it's highlighted and then I'm going to click on OK so you can see that the text turns blue it's underlined it means there's a hyperlink here and so now when I hover over here and I click on it, it just jumps and highlights the named range. So now try moving to the cell at the intersection of the last active row and column in the worksheet. So this whole page is the worksheet. How do we jump right to the end? So we could manually use the arrow keys or press page up, page down. And, but I'm going to try pressing control end. Control end. By pressing the control end key, I jump to the to the end. And then when I press control home, it jumps up to the top left corner. So again, control end jumps to the last cell, the intersection of the last column and the last row. This is column G, row 105. Now why is it G here? If I press control home, you can see that we're actually uh, do have some information here in column G. This is making up this nice uh, gray box here. So now let's try opening another file here. This is uh, the uh, Excel 12B file. And uh, let's try a few more challenges here. In cell C12, this is 
column C, row 12 here, this cell over here, we're going to enter a hyperlink to the website located at some website. So if I type in www.adventure-works.com or any website.com, press enter, you can see that Excel is pretty smart. It automatically makes it into a hyperlink. It recognizes the www and the .com. It must be some website address. And of course, if you click on it, it actually tries to open up that website. And this website happens to redirect to some Microsoft website. You can see this is the website it opens up. It's just some Microsoft website. OK, so we successfully created a hyperlink. Now the final challenge today is to edit this hyperlink so the cell displays some other text. Okay, so I'm glad that lag went away. But uh, now that Excel is working and everything is fine, I'm going to right click this hyperlink and go to edit hyperlink. And you can see that the address is automatically set. I can change the website address, which is also called a URL. And I can also change the text to display. So let's finish off today's challenge by writing the display text as please visit our website instead of the URL. So you can see that there is the text, but when I click on it, it still goes to that URL. Let's keep working through these examples. I really believe that we can get certified.